Second up would be transparency. Transparency, the simple idea that solid ground, land is opaque, uh, whereas water is transparent or clear. Uh, a very simple idea here. Uh, so the solid ground surface, a landmass, only the extreme top level of that surface is going to feel uh, that insulation. It's going to absorb that insulation. Whereas water, uh, because of its characteristics, it's clear, uh, essentially, uh, the incoming solar radiation can penetrate deeper. So essentially that insulation, same amount, is getting spread over a greater area, whereas in the case of solid ground, it's only that very, very top layer. Uh, and so one of the things we got we can relate to is if you go to the beach. Uh, if you go to the beach in the summertime, let's say, let's go somewhere in Florida. Uh, during the summertime, you're walking on uh, on the sand. Uh, one of the things, if you, if you know, in the, you know, about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, that sand's super hot. And if you're walking around barefoot, you're probably, ooh, 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 ee, ah, ah. I mean, it's hurting your feet. But then all of a sudden, if you just dig your toes in a little bit deeper, uh, underneath that top level of soil, that's probably that top level of sand, you notice it's actually quite cool. It's actually a good way to cool your feet quickly. And that's because only the top level of the surface is being uh, absorbed or is being exposed to that incoming solar radiation. And so here's another way to showcase the idea that water heats and cools sluggishly. And so it takes a longer time for it to heat up, but also it takes a longer time for it to cool down because of that insulation being spread over a greater area.